Hi everyone, Rob Power here again from the Department of Education here at Cape Breton University, and welcome back to this section on other useful digital tools. In a previous section, we took a look at the Moodle Learning Management System. That is the place you're going to log into most frequently between your live class sessions, where you're going to be accessing course resources, communicating with your instructor and your classmates, and even submitting assignments and possibly completing some quizzes. In another section, we took a look at the Microsoft Teams application. Teams is the tool that you're most likely to use for your live classes. It offers some tools for web conferencing, for breakout rooms, and for chatting and collaborating and sharing files with your instructor and classmates in real time. In this section, we're going to take a look at some other tools that you might find useful as an online student here at Cape Breton University. One of those tools is the Microsoft Office 365 suite. As a student at CBU, you have free access to Office Online, and through that you'll get access to tools such as Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Teams, and even Outlook Webmail. So we're going to show you how to access those for free online. We're also going to take a look at some other common web conferencing tools you may be asked to use to meet in real time for some of your live classes. These are popular platforms such as Google Meet and Zoom. And then we'll follow that up with a look at some applications that you might find useful as you create your multimedia presentations for some of your course assignments. Things like converting PowerPoint presentations into video presentations screencasting tools, and even tools such as Powtoon that will allow you to create animated presentations. Now, you don't need to learn all of these tools right away, but these resources may be helpful to you as you move through the next few months as an online student here at Cape Breton University. Feel free to refer back to them at any time if you want to learn how to use one of these tools. Once you've checked out the resources that we provide in this section, don't forget to head on back to topic one in Moodle. Make sure that you've completed any follow-up activities such as the Moodle and Teams navigation challenge, and then get ready to move on and check out some of the other units that are available throughout this student readiness course, such as the Getting Organized, Academic Essentials, or Knowing Your University Modules.